The scientific basis of the Feldenkrais method is the fact that Dr. Feldenkrais was a scientist. He was a physicist, an engineer, and he was a judo master, but the whole basis of the Feldenkrais method is science. And every experience that we have is conducted like a mini scientific experiment. Mm -hmm. And you become your own expert exploring your way of learning and you make your own discoveries. So it is living science. So we go from abstract learning to very concrete. And this strengthens our learning and understanding of human behavior. We encourage all of our students to study academically as much as they want to. What we like to see is that each student pursues their own interests. So the motivation comes from their interest in learning, not an assigned reading list. However, we will recommend books on anatomy, on physiology, philosophy, mm -hmm. movement science, interpersonal neurobiology, current studies in neuroscience, psychology. So academic representation is fully present in all of our trainings. The training program is organized so that the students are immersed in movement throughout the training. However, the first couple of years, we emphasize learning how to learn through movement. So they get to experience developmental movement all the way from sucking and eye movements to rolling, crawling, kneeling, standing. So there is a chance for each student to re-experience their childhood through movement. And along the way, we introduce hands-on techniques so that people become more sensitive to touch and so that they can make um, refined discrimination in touching so that by the end of the training program, they'll know how to touch and guide movement in other people. And that sensitivity will be based on all of the movement explorations they have made from early on during the training program. Somatic learning just means that you're learning through movement, through sensation. And you don't really understand why you're doing what you're doing. We focus on how you're doing it, not why you're doing it. Process-oriented language helps you go more and more deeply into your sensation and into your learning. It's very pleasurable, it's surprising, and it's, it's unusual because so much of our learning that takes place is academic. It's about understanding words and concepts, and we make those concepts become real through movement experience. Interspersed with the movement experiences and the handling experiences, we'll have lectures, and we have several trainers visiting the training program over the course of the four years, mm -hmm. and each one of those trainers has special expertise, and we've invited them into the training for those reasons. So it'll be mm -hmm. very balanced, mm -hmm. and we'll have male and female teachers. It's going to be an incredible learning experience for everyone. Mm -hmm. There are many benefits to studying here at the Institute in Vienna, and one is that it's open all year round and that classes are offered and the classes that are offered here are actually free to the students that are enrolled in the training program. Mm -hmm. There will be ongoing study groups and review sessions for the students that attend the training here. And um, there are classes, as I said, all year round. Mm -hmm. So training doesn't stop when the training program ends. It continues during the whole four year period. Mm -hmm. And that's very unusual. Mm -hmm. Another one of the benefits is that Sasha Krausnecker is the assistant trainer and continuity person throughout the whole four years, and he's available here all during the training program on site for questions and for added study. I discovered Dan Siegel's book, The Developing Mind, 2000, 2001, and I started studying uh, with him going to workshops that he was teaching in Southern California. Mm -hmm. And then four years ago, I started attending um, a monthly seminar uh, in which I spend a full day with him during a morning lecture with a large group of people. Mm -hmm. And in the afternoons, we have a small group and we study all the different aspects of interpersonal neurobiology and current studies demonstrating the changes that take place in mindfulness and research in the brain. So I find it fascinating and encouraging to be around other people that are like-minded and interested in study and creating change and making the world a better place. Mm 